In this video, I'm showing you how I uh, painted my fence with a spray gun. Now, I used this Benjamin Moore Arbor, Arbor Coat Solid Stain oil based. It actually sprays surprisingly well compared to what I thought it would. This is my gun. It is a grizzly low volume, low pressure gun, uh, gravity feed, 1.5 millimeter uh, tip. Um, I use this compressor. It's pretty small, especially for spraying. It's a eight gallon, 4.5 SF, SCFM at 40 PSI. I am spraying at 40 PSI. And uh, this is the part I've done so far, just right there. I primed it all, also with, a, also with the same spray gun. The primer sprayed on all right. It was really thin and it took a while. This, the solid color is actually sprays on very quick compared to the primer. I really like it. Now, why I'm doing it with a spray gun is because it's mainly because it's faster. And I can tell you it is a lot faster compared to brush paint. I brush painted this whole section about three months ago, four months ago, and it took a crap load longer. I've, I've already done this just this little section in a fraction of the time. Here I'll just uh, get a clip of me painting for a bit. Very simple. Uh, by no means I'm, a, I'm not a professional. Uh, I did take some woodworking courses on with finishing in them, so I did spray some. I do have a bit of spraying experience before this, but by no means I am good at it or anything so here's just a I'll just spray and the other thing is I don't really think you have to be good because it's a fence why why do you it doesn't need the perfect finish it just needs to look good and it's just a solid color anyway uh, my, my compressor will be going off the whole time because it is very small and it has to work very hard to keep up so uh, there'll be a noise the whole time. Just some uh, tips on spraying. Keep it about uh, six to eight inches away from what you're spraying. Uh, do not just hold it on the whole time. Do it in pulses and don't make, try not to uh, hold it in the same place for very long at all or else it will be too thick and it will drip. Before spraying, 
make sure to adjust your gun properly. On my gun, this is the fluid flow, spray pattern, and airflow. Uh, there's no right or wrong way to do it. Just make sure you like how it's spraying and you can adjust the cap to spray vertically or horizontally. Everything's, everything's pretty straightforward. But yeah, that's how I do it. And this gun cost me 50 bucks. I'll put the link in the description, very cheap. The compressor I paid 154 a couple years ago. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's painting it by brush. I, I paid my friends to help me and the amount I paid them was a lot more than what I've spent on all this. Uh, another thing to be careful about is overspray. Now, an air gun, an air spraying paint gun, it atomizes the uh, material into the air. So it's a mist of paint and this can uh, float, I don't know how far, but decently far. So here's a parking space, my car's there, was there. I moved it because I didn't want it to be covered in goddamn paint because that would be horrible. So move them all away, everything's good. Make sure your neighbors don't have any cars parked close or anything. But uh, other than that, it works pretty well. Thanks for watching. Once you're done painting, just uh, make sure to clean out the gun very well. I used a paint thinner. Depending on uh, what kind of uh, paint you're spraying, if it's solvent based or latex or whatever, you have to use the appropriate paint thinner. Also, uh, put the cap in paint thinner to uh, help unclog it. My cap is actually really clogged after spraying the full fence. 